this is a message from the six Raikage of the Hidden Cloud Village. Citizen Cinema, start the show. My partner is the eight tails that's inside of me. Your illusion I obliterate, and then y'all I shall annihilate. Eight tails that be me, the rapping killer bee. Whee! All right, guys, it's your boy Mike Fallon back at another episode of Citizen Cinema. I'm here with a special guest. I'm here with Katero. Lane Colbert, a.k.a. Killer B, a.k.a. Da Rui, a.k.a. Yes, say ho! The man that humbled Sasuke. Yes, sir. Horribly. All good. And his know. team. Yes, sir. Larry! All right, so my question is, what, what, what was the process of you getting plugged into the Naruto franchise? Okay, I, uh, they had someone who was already Killer B, but then for some reason he couldn't do it and they needed to uh, get somebody quickly. So they brought me and like five other dudes mm -hmm. and they were like, listen to what he did, but you don't have to do the same thing. And I sort of went in kind of an entirely different direction and they were like, boom, that part. Yep. And, uh, you know, cut to. I'm sitting here with you doing this interview in front of some Funko Pops and Killer B. So what's it like seeing that your character is like now a Funko? It's a dream come true for me because I'm also a fan. Like I'm a fan of uh, Funkos. I'm a fan. Of, ever since I was a kid, I've yeah. been collecting and I read comics. So to have a uh, actual toy of something that I'm a part of is Man. an amazing thing that I've wanted since I was a little kid. Man, that's just, it's, it's just wild. So my question is, uh, as a fan, as, as someone, I mean, obviously you know the story because like you did all the voices. Right, yeah. So how, how did it, uh, how did, how did it like impact you or how did you receive your character's story arc, uh, like, you know, doing all the sessions and seeing how much he means with that diversity within anime? Uh, diversity with anime, you know, when I was a young kid and I would watch, you know, we would watch anime. Yeah. We saw uh, uh, Robotech and we saw Battle of the Planets. Akira. And Akira and all yeah. of And we loved it. Yeah. And to have, uh, you know, hey, what's going on, Killer B in Naruto, which is one of the biggest and most banging uh, animes, I'm super grateful for it. And uh, now, I was in uh, Cannon Busters. It's on Netflix. Go yeah. check it out. Which is a, a an anime. Yeah. There's more, but it was like Killer B is sort of like one of you know a signpost. It's like here we are, and it's really cool to be a part of it. and Darui. Yeah. So what was it like for you uh, when you, when you first learned about Killer B's power set and his Jinchuriki? Right. Well, yeah. Mary, uh, who is the uh, director for most of it, would sit down and she would explain to you. She'd be like this is what it is and this is you know this is the eight tails and then there was a seven tails and there's a nine tails but yeah. oh spoiler alert it's not around yet but then naruto gets the nine tails and you teach him how to use the chakra yeah so he can master it so it was like killer b is just so layered and so wild and it felt like he would get like a new power and sometimes he feels like overpowered yeah. which is not a bad thing not a bad thing right it's exactly because it's like I mean I mean so you already know we, we talked this weekend about it. Yeah. It's just like you have like one of the top three most legendary battles in the anime. With, with like, I'm like, told. Yeah, I mean but, I like it, but I'm yeah. sure people really uh, enjoy the battle with Sasuke. Yeah. Man, this is like what was it like seeing it animated for the first time? <laughs> you know when, when you see this it, work and it's like uh, they're like and a lot of it is like you know efforts and yeah yeah. But it, it, anytime that you see. Uh, any battle or not even you know with with B for Naruto it's a, it was amazing yeah it mm -hmm. was amazing it was dope so I have another question because I want to switch fandoms with you real quick okay. what was it like being a part of like the Superman animated franchise now with your role oh, in, the, in the Cold movie cast and Superman versus the Elite like that's one of my favorite moments nice. that I've ever nice. had in nice. uh, my uh, VO career because yeah sitting in a booth and you see you know you beating superman's butt yeah and i go this is what i wanted when i was a kid this is like my dream come true moment yeah yeah so it was really awesome was man, really cool guessing, man thank you yeah. man i just want to say thank you for your time oh 
thank you. Bro, you know, it's been it's been a, it's been an honor, oh, especially what you contributed to anime and as an anime fan. Yeah, for real, man, oh, like man. for real. Okay, so uh, what, what can, I want I want to plug in your socials. Where can people find you? Uh, and Katero TV on Instagram and Katero Colbert on uh, Facebook and it's Katero.com, C-A-T-E-R-O, but there's nothing on there. Uh, right now, just the name, and I'm in a band called Elaine Zane, mm -hmm. A L A I N Z A N E. We just dropped a record called Right Before Your Eyes. Check us out, ElaineZane.com or on Spotify. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah. you, man. Thank, Thank you for you. your time. All good. Appreciate it. It's been your boy Mike Fallon. I'll catch you guys next time. All Peace. Good.